ever since the release of the first Star Wars in 1977, science fiction movies have been labeled blockbuster contenders. And when you look at the reviews of such movies, you'll see a pattern of them being described as the most expensive movie of the summer, or the visual effects spectacle of the summer. Number, please. Well, this summer, the genre is being represented by the vast of night. This is WOTW Radio in Cayuga, New Mexico, and this is the news for the Apple. It doesn't have a billion dollar budget. It doesn't have elaborate special effects. It does not come from Disney or Universal Studios, but from the annals of independent film festival slam dance. We got a sound we'd like to play that seems to be bouncing around the valley tonight. Set in the 1950s, the story finds a radio jockey and a telephone switchboard operator investigate mysterious transmissions that might be pointing at extraterrestrial presence on Earth. They've liked this place. They always have. The Vast of Night tackles this old chestnut premise with low-key performances from its actors and film noir-like dark cinematography. Normally, these qualities would doom a science fiction movie that rely on polished production values. But it's these elements that distinguish the low-budget vast of night from its peers. Something's up there now. There's something talking. And it's now considered not only one of the best movies of the summer, but of the year. Reviews say the unconventional radio play-like narrative that relies on well-written dialogue instead of effects not only makes for an original take on the genre, but also helps in deconstructing it. Critics agree that The Vast of Night succeeds where most sci-fi films fail, by bringing a fresh take on the genre. The film proves you don't need big stars and big budgets to tell a good story. And there's a lesson in that for Hollywood franchise producers of such films as Men in Black International and Star Wars Solo. Hey, 